Hello, Modern here. Today I will be showing you my favorite build in Last Epoch, the Divine Priest. This build is fast, fun and absolutely sucks at Lagoon, because that fight is pure garbage for this build. Anything else is an absolute joy. High corruption, T4 Julra, Arena, nothing this bad boy cannot do. It functions perfectly fine at any gear level, requires no uniques and lets you experience the power of Divine Lightning. I will give you an overview of the build, go over mechanics, passive, skills, the loot filter and itemization at the end. This build centers around procking smite in a variety of different ways, but still utilizes the hard cast muscle whenever the need arises. Whenever we do hard cast, we are using the stagger casting mechanic to cancel the recovery animation of the spell. This leads to higher DPS than regular casting without moving. As for the auto cast abilities, I will start with javelin. We convert this one to a battle standard that casts smite periodically around it, while also providing you with a buff to your damage for each point of attunement, as well as health regeneration. The standard cannot be destroyed and will constantly dish out damage without the need to stand still and cast smite. Next is lunge, which also procs smite based on the distance traveled. The utility of this skill lies in a haste buff after using it as well as invulnerability while lunging. This skill allows for lightning fast movement across the map. Judgment is the last skill we use to cast smite. This one targets four nearby enemies anywhere on the screen, allowing you for incredible clear at the cost of mana. Hitting a target directly with the skill provides you with a 4 second frenzy buff. Cycling through your abilities while simultaneously casting smite results in some really great DPS without the need to heavily invest into cast speed, allowing us to blitz through maps through the use of our divine powers. Next are passives. Those are very straightforward and only require you to pick up Veiler last as a filler passive at the end. It doesn't matter in what order you spend your points otherwise, except for pushing Paladin for judgment. Next the loot filter. You can find a custom one in the description box down below. Just download and import it. It takes care of your whole progression, but you can safely use a different one if you like. Skills are next. Since you guys usually skip around this one, I will omit explanations here. Take note of the numbers besides each note, signifying what to grab first and last. Also make sure to sub, like and comment for some juicy content. Now a quick look at my gear, so you know what my damage roughly translates to. You can find the optimized set with example idols in the talent plan down below. Grabbing plus to the level of smite is essential for this build's damage output and should be prioritized. This one can be found on the relic. The paladin specialization gets access to a lot of additional life and resistances, which makes itemization very easy. Crit is however a bit more spicy to acquire. Grabbing 6 base crit chance for smite in its skill tree results in the need for 809% increased critical strike chance to reach 100%. This is a very high amount which requires you to use a staff with an increased spell crit chance prefix. Your damage will suffer substantially if you decide to omit crit in favor of other stats. Another pain point is sustain. We do have some built into smite and the battle standard. This however will not be enough for higher corruption levels. The easiest way to fix this problem is by farming the Black Sun Monolith for the spell damage leech this life blessing. As far as defenses go, grab one endurance suffix on your rings, relic or helmet instead of flat life to cap it at 60% with a devotion amulet. Crit immunity is achieved through the passive tree and the reign of dragons crit avoidance blessing. All other stats should be used to cap your resistances, grab more life and armor shred. Now a quick word on legendaries. The devotion amulet is amazing for this build and outperforms all exalted amulets. Grab any of the shown stats on a legendary version. Something of note, you are most likely never going to see anything above 1 LP. The next one is Titan Heart, the best chest you can get for this build. Most staffs are melee web which results in the 15% damage mitigation to work like it would for a two-handed axe or spear. It also comes with a lot of percent life and decent armor. Try to grab vitality, percent life or flat life with any LP version of this item. Lastly idols. Use four large idols with increased smite damage. They can roll with additional flat health as a suffix. Fill in the rest with generic idols to cap your resistances. The best in slot ones are hybrid stouts and crit life stouts. Now this sums up my divine priest build guide for last epoch. I am currently also doing Diablo 4 videos on my channel in addition to this game. If you want more of the juicy content make sure to like, sub and comment. If you want to support me even more make sure to check out my patreon, paypal and channel membership. See you next time and bye!